15 things you didn't know about snooker. Number 15. Heated snooker tables. Heating snooker tables is a practice that may surprise many. The purpose is to reduce the amount of moisture in the cloth, allowing for a smoother and faster playing surface. This subtle yet crucial aspect greatly affects the gameplay, enhancing the quality and consistency of play. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> that's certainly not how he intended to hit the yellow, but hit it he has. Number 14. The longest frame in professional history. Snooker is known for its potential for lengthy play, but one frame in the 2019 World Snooker Championship takes the record. The epic duel between David Gilbert and John Higgins lasted a staggering 79 minutes and 31 seconds making it the longest frame ever in professional snooker history. This red needs to slow down. Oh, he did it thick. Wow. <laughs> and the green one. In the second session yesterday, he came out Pretty. into admiration. He'll be upset. He thought it was a great chance and produced some tremendous snooker. Made the highest oh, yeah. in the Number 13. Unique construction of snooker tables. Snooker tables are engineering marvels. The slate bed of a professional snooker table, which must be absolutely flat, is often made from quarried slate and can weigh over a ton. The precision in levelling a snooker table is such that the tolerance for error is less than the thickness of a postcard. And then you can see that's that now, that just that, that thickness of that paper has moved that just over the degree, which, you know, for us isn't acceptable because the, the cloths are so thin these days that you, you, you virtually have no tolerance. Number 12. The Crucible Curse. One of the most intriguing aspects of snooker is the so-called Crucible Curse. No first-time winner of the World Snooker Championship at the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield has successfully defended their title the following year. The Embassy World Snooker Champion, Peter Ebden. This streak has continued since the tournament found its home at the Crucible in 1977, baffling players and fans alike. <laughs> Number 11. Uncommon ball composition. Initially, snooker balls were made from ivory, sourced from elephant tusks. However, with concerns over animal welfare and sustainability, the material shifted. Today, high-quality snooker balls are made from a phenolic resin, ensuring uniform density and balance for accurate play. Number 10. Snooker in space. In a fun intersection of snooker and space travel, astronaut Tim Peake once played a virtual game of snooker while aboard the International Space Station. This zero-gravity game of snooker was part of a series of educational videos to engage and educate people about life in space. Number 9. The diversity of cue materials. While most professional players use cues made from ashwood, the diversity in cue materials is vast. Some cues are made from exotic woods like maple, rosewood or even ebony. The choice of wood can affect the cue's weight, balance and the overall feel in a player's hand. Before we move on, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Number 8. Snooker's influence on World War II. 
During World War II, snooker was used as a tool for psychological warfare. The British Army used snooker tables as a means to relax and unwind, but also to maintain a sense of normalcy and morale among troops stationed abroad. Number 7. Women in Professional Snooker While snooker has been predominantly male-dominated, women have been making significant strides in the sport. The Women's World Snooker Championship, first held in 1976, has seen a rise in competitiveness and skill, highlighting the growing inclusivity and recognition of women in professional snooker. Number 6. What came first, snooker or pool? Contrary to what some might assume, snooker actually came after pool. Originating in the latter half of the 19th century, snooker was developed by British Army officers in India. Evolving from earlier games like black pool and life pool, the latter being a forerunner to what we know today as pool. Number 5. The world's first televised 147 break. A historic moment in snooker was the world's first televised 147 break, achieved by Steve Davis in 1982 during the Larder Classic. This maximum break was a milestone in snooker history showcasing the sport's skill and precision to a global audience and significantly boosting snooker's popularity. Seven. Magnificent break. Number 4. Unexpected Masters Winners The Masters, a prestigious snooker tournament, has seen unexpected winners over the years. Notable among them are Alan McManus, Matthew Stevens, Dennis Taylor, Perry Mons and Terry Griffiths each showcasing the unpredictable and competitive nature of the sport. Number 3. Understanding Match Play in Snooker Match play in snooker refers to a specific format, where the game is not just about scoring the most points in a single frame, but winning a set number of frames. This format tests players' endurance, consistency, and strategy over an extended period, adding a layer of complexity to tournaments. Well, look at this shot. Have a look at this shot. Number two, the difference between a snooker club table and match table. The difference between a snooker club table and a professional match table lies in several aspects, like table size, cloth quality, and pocket dimensions. Match tables used in professional tournaments often have tighter pockets and a more responsive playing surface, offering a higher level of challenge compared to the more forgiving club tables. Number 1. Snooker's Contribution to Charity Snooker extends its impact beyond the green bays through its contributions to various charitable causes. Many professional tournaments, including the World Snooker Championship, have been involved in fundraising for charities. These efforts often include donations for every century break made or for maximum breaks achieved during the tournament. This philanthropic side of snooker showcases the sport's commitment to give back to the community and use its platform for positive social impact. For more snooker content, click on the screen right now.